Good afternoon, I'm Charlene Burdock. I'm the Executive Director of the Campbell County Chamber of Commerce. With me today is Dr. Hallinan. Dr. Hallinan is running for House District 32. So welcome, Dr. Hallinan. Thank you, Charlene. So today we're going to talk about the candidates' views on business issues. So I'll start by asking you, of course, you were a physician in our community for right. many years and have been active. So can you tell me a little bit about things you've done to support the Campbell County business community? Well, I was a member of the Chamber of Commerce for a number of years while I was in practice. And I also was a member of NFIB for many years, I don't know how many. Uh, I was a delegate to the White House Conference on Small Business back in 1990. So I have a I have been involved with uh, business, you know, in my practice all those years, and I supported the affair, supported the uh, objectives of various organizations during that time. And of course, Dr. Helen, and you've served in the legislature before, so certainly um, have a track record on business issues. Right, I do. I've. Uh, well, I think I was very supportive of business in my service in the legislature. Uh, I look forward to doing the same if I'm elected again. All right, well, thank you. So overall, we are in challenging times, um, a little bit uh, different times than maybe we were a few years ago. So what would you as a candidate do, or what do you think we can do to overall improve the business climate for Wyoming? Well, I think the major problem in our community is the collapse of the coal industry. And I think that probably the most important thing uh, the legislature can do is to do what it can to shore up the coal industry in our, in our community and around the state. My idea on that is that we would have a reduction in the severance tax that's placed on coal. It's now 7%. That's the highest of the severance taxes on any of the major, on any of the mineral industries in our state. Uh, and I would like to see that reduced to 6%, which is the severance tax that is used in taxing oil and gas in our state. I think that would help our coal industry, and I think that would help indirectly uh, our state economy as well. I think coal needs to be, I, need, I think the price of coal needs to drop a little bit uh, to be more competitive with natural gas, and that would be one way it could happen, is to reduce the taxes on coal. Uh, I think that would help our state and our definitely our community to do that. And that's one of the bills that I will introduce uh, when I'm elected. I will do that. All I right. promise that. Okay. Thank you. As you think about the next three to five years, what's your vision for Wyoming and what can you do as an elected official to help get us there? Well, I think as an elected official that probably the major issue right now is the lack of money that our state has to support its various enterprises. So I think the major thing that I can do is also another bill that I will propose, and that is to revise the Wyoming Constitution that, sub, that sends 2% of the severance tax, or that sends one and a half percent of the severance tax into the permanent mineral trust fund. I think that needs to be lowered, uh, maybe to one percent, or maybe even as much as a half a percent. And that would add approximately, if it was down to one percent, it would be about $120 million that would be available for the state to spend. So. I think that would be something that we could do 
Uh, we don't need to be putting more money into the Permanent Mineral Trust Fund when the state is in dire financial condition right now. And that just ties up the money. Uh, there is now $7 billion in the Permanent Mineral Trust Fund, and I think that's probably enough. If we lowered the subvention of the money into to the Permanent Mineral Trust Fund to say a half a percent, which would I say, like I say, $120 million to the state, approximately the state uh, general fund, then I think that that would still put some money into the Permanent Mineral Trust Fund, but it would be much more reasonable. So that is probably the major thing I think that we can do in the state legislature, and that's something the voters would have to approve, a constitutional change uh, on that issue right now. I think that would be our number one, my number one goal is to see that change made in our state constitution. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Helen. And is there anything you'd like to add? Well, uh, no, I think that about says it all. That, those are my two major um, our, my two major goals as a legislator is to, one, number one, is to lower the tax on coal, and two, and that is to lower the amount of money that's put into the Mineral Trust Fund. Okay. So. Well, thank you, Dr. Hellinan. Uh, Dr. Hellinan is running for the legislature, State House Representative District Number 32. 32. And thank you for being with us today, and please watch all of the candidate interviews on GPA TV, channel 192. Thank you.